Okay. Hi, artists and art lovers. My name is Symphony Medley, and welcome to the Irie Artist Advisor. To the intro. <laughs> Hello again. I hope you like that intro. I, I think it's pretty good, right? Anyways, in today's ep very first episode, I'm going to show you how to enter an art show. Just like any artist, I like to partake in these art shows when I have the money. Keep this money part in mind throughout the video, friends. Throughout three years of being in the art game, I found out a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, don't know how to enter art shows. It's definitely no fault of your own friends. Let me tell you, I didn't really know how to enter art shows. I didn't even think it was a thing to enter art shows. My only re reference was Spencer from iCarly, just do art until somebody finds you and boom art gallery i was in an art gallery last year we'll talk about it later anyways but on the side note i did find out about two or three semesters before my senior art show and i've been doing art shows ever since and it's quite fun mm -hmm. Now you're probably thinking, why should I even enter these art shows? What will they even do for me? Or you want me to just hurry up and get to the meat of this video. Art shows are very important to artists of all kinds because they serve as our resume. Resume or professional-wise, CV, which is short for Curriculum Vitae. It helps us get internships and jobs, like graphic designer, art professor, dean, or chair of arts and letters, or humanities, depending on which college you go to, gallery director, fashion designer, and so much more art jobs, friends. Here's an example of my CV. I have the schools that I graduated from, my solo and group art shows, workshops, and awards. All right, art friends, we are getting close to the best part of this video. I'm going to show you how to enter an art show using callforentry.org. It's also called Cafe for short. But before we go over this exciting part, I'll tell you about the five categories of art entries that I think you should focus on when entering. All right, art friends. First, festivals and fairs. These are my favorite shows to enter because these have a very easygoing setting and casual atmosphere. I would rate this as the number one entry to enter for beginners, especially if you are a nervous beginner. But like all art shows, take it seriously. Even though it's a casual setting, you don't know who you would meet at these festivals and fairs. Second, exhibition. These are also my favorites because you can have an art show with friends or strangers, which is called a group exhibition, or by yourself, which is called a solo exhibition. An example of me and one of my bestest friends, Jasmine Mullins, at our group slash solo exhibition. She's an illustrator, comic book creator, and storyteller. So check her out on the Instagrams, Jazzy Studios 123. The comfort level of an exhibition is really up to you, friends. I do feel like before you enter in any sort of exhibition, you must be solid in your artwork, and more importantly, please show up to your own exhibition and well-dressed too. I third, proposals. Proposals aren't really my favorite just because it kind of reminds you of how Baroque you really are. See what I did there? Art jokes. Because Baroque is an art style. 
it just gives you that feeling of please just give me the money so i can art another day so i'll give you a tiny story time during my undergrad years of how the proposal process works and yes i wrote this down because i want to give you a clear story friends every year the art department would hold a proposal entry for all art majors so that meant if you were in art education studio arts or graphic design you were able to enter the proposal the proposal reward was two thousand five hundred dollars also subtract the tax the rules were simple artist statement about yourself another artist statement about your potential art show portfolio and making a list of the materials needed for the project and also the prices of that those material since a lot of us were new to the proposal process all the professors warned us about entering we had to be very serious about doing it if not please do not do the proposal because if we got picked for the proposal awards and not fulfill our promise for an art show or an art talk we would have to pay the money back we were also told to add food or personal needs to the materials list just to show that we we're actually using the money to its fullest extent to help us get to the goal of the art show. So here's a list of what I wanted for my potential art show. So it was six large canvases, about 36 by 48. So since they were in bulk, they were $250. Then oil paint, we already know how expensive that is, so I did a ballpark price of $300. I also wanted a camera and a projector. I'm sure there was more, but I don't remember what that was. With all that being done, I, I did lose. At the time, it did sound good in my head, but it probably sounded horrible on paper. But one day I probably would love to do this project, but that will be one day and I'm not sure when that day will be. So that's a little bit about the proposal. Fourth grants, unlike proposals, some grants are a little bit more easygoing. For the most part, all they ask for is how long you've been working in the art field, portfolios, artist statements, and your artist website and make sure that is not an instagram they don't like that like seeing that sometimes these grants will have stipulations like the proposal but for a little bit of an example they just want you to have an art show in a certain location and now for the last entry residencies i haven't been able to go to any of these yet but I'm sure they are quite fun and also exciting. A residency is a place where you have access to all of the finest art equipment and art space that may be out of your reach when you're at home. You also have the opportunity to meet other artists and also a possibility of having an exhibition with your new found colleagues and art buddies. All right, art friends. Now that we have learned about the five types of entries, before we go on callforentry.org, please take some pictures of your artwork and then see what themes and art categories they would fall under. This will make it a lot easier to figure out which art shows you can enter and which art shows you shouldn't enter. Here's some examples of what themes would be social and political, adversity, environmental, identity, and progress. That's just to name a few. And here's examples of categories. Printmaking. Sometimes with printmaking you have to name the process like lithography, screen print, or wood type. Painting, ceramics, drawing, sculpture, fiber and glass, illustration, graphic design, and so much more. Now we are at the most anticipated part of the video, friends. 
open your browser and type in callforentry.org. Make sure you create a login first, then upload photos of your artwork into the My Portfolio section. Welcome to the cafe, friends. Make sure you created a login and also uploaded pictures of your artwork in the My Portfolio selection. In the left bottom corner of the screen, I have one of my artworks called The Digital Gaze. I would put it under the theme Identity for Social and Political Arts because the subject of it is beauty and the category would be Digital Arts. Now let's click on Find Call. Now that we have clicked on Find Calls, let's look at the filters. So we have call type, eligibility, entry fee, project budget, deadline month, and location. So let's click under call type. So even though I mentioned five call types, there are definitely a lot more. So let's read, read through them. Alumni, awards, competitions, exhibitions, fellowships, festivals, grants, literary, member, New media, performing arts, photography, proposals, public art, residencies, workshop, youth, and unspecified. So when it comes to unspecified, it's usually just an online gallery. The next is eligibility. So the eligibility is just where and who can enter in these art fields. So we got international, local, national, regional, and unspecified. Next is entry fee. So remember in the beginning of the video, I said I like to partake in art shows. When I have the money, well, here it is, the fees. Most entries or art shows or anything that you're entering for, you would have to pay a fee. And also it is very rare to find a free show. So keep those eyeballs peeled for the free shows. You gotta enter those. Now the the most that I ever paid for entry fee is maybe $65. So for for the most part it's kind of cheap, but also not really cheap. Just imagine you're paying to not get into a show. So if you get into the show, it's worth it. And then if you don't get into the show, then it's not it it's not worth it so next is project budget so right here on this entry right here this is the very first entry that we're seeing it has a budget so it's calling for a public art so if you win so you win in this entry right here they're going to give you a budget of 30,000 this is what they're giving you to create the public art so next deadline month so as you see you have all these months here and it, it's just to tell you when when the um, deadlines are coming Location. So for locations, you get to see which locations or regions have art shows. And if you're a big chicken, like how all of us are, when we first enter art shows, we're just going to go go do some shows in our home state and hope for the best. All right, friends. Now let's look to how to find an entry. Follow along with my example with the digital gaze or follow along with your chosen artwork to find an entry. So make sure you click on call type and exhibitions. You don't really have to pick ex exhibitions, but I will be using exhibitions for this walkthrough. So now we see the first entry here called Mix It Up Mark. So when you look at these entries, make sure you read the title, the call type, eligibility, state, fee, at entry deadline, and event dates. So make sure you look at the, the event dates for sure because that's where you want to go on the first day or even the last day of these events 
and basically network and also see your artwork in action or not action or other people seeing your artwork yes so here we have mix it up march all type exhibitions eligibility regional state new york b $35 entry deadline oh it's today february 15th <laughs> and then the event date is march 4th to march 27th so here we'll read this uh description of the art show mix it up march is a juried exhibition hosted by the firefly artist that features mixed media creations artists living on long island and in surrounding regions are eligible so this means that if, if you're not living in the long island areas you cannot enter this art show you don't know how many times some people would enter art shows without reading it and they don't get in and also they lose their money over this entry let's for look for an entry that matches the digital gaze two hours later so now that i found an entry it matches digital gaze to the t i like to see it 2022 women in art call type exhibitions eligibility international state california p $31. Entry deadline June 5th. Days remaining to, deadline, to the deadline 110 days. So look friends, you got 110 days to save up for this art show and also 110 days to make art for this art show. You never know. So now let's read the description. So it tells you it's an online exhibition. The deadline is June 5th. Notification is June 11th. Usually these notifications will come into your email. So always keep your eyes peeled for your notification letter to see what the next step is for you to enter your artwork. Exhibitions. The exhibition will start on July 7th to July 30th. Now it has, it also has commissions. So if you're able to sell one of your artworks to someone, you will get the 65% and the art and the gallery will get 35%. So price your art wisely, friends. Now, let, so now let's read the second part of the description. Lost, okay, Lost Laguna, Art Gallery is pleased to present our Women in Art exhibition. Since 2013, Las Laguna Art Gallery has dedicated a month to women's art to women artists. This is an open open theme and all media exhibition. So right here, this is what we usually like to see: open theme and all media. This means you have a pretty good chance as long as you follow follow the rules here of getting in so here's your list right here media can include acrylic airbrush assemblage charcoal color pencil collage digital arts drawings and caustic at first i didn't know what encaustic is but what it is is when you paint with wax that's that's the simple the most simplest way i could uh, describe it to you friends then there's fiber arts graphite glass art illustration jewelry mixed media new media oil painting pastels photography traditional and digital printmaking sculpture video and so right where it says new media you never know so that means you can just experiment if you want to they have a note for artists who are planning to enter all artists who submit to this show will be accepted 
and have at least one of their submitted works posted and promoted on our website and to our client list. A selected number of artists will be chosen to send their artwork to the gallery for the in-person exhibition at our brick and mortar gallery in Laguna Beach, California. So right here it tells you it is a online gallery but also if you are picked furthermore it seems like it's a little bit of a like it's a little bit of a layered entry right here so it means if you get accepted if you submit more than one work or maybe if you just sum submit the one work you get promoted on the website and also the selected numbers of artists will then go in person in their exhibition so that's pretty neat so it's just like the gift that keeps on giving now that i've decided to enter this art show right here with digital gaze let's click on apply now so with all entries on cafe they'll have like in a little agreement here and then please review the rules and terms to apply so i'm going to read this first line right here now i'm going to read this first line right here entry fees non-refundable application fees and on a side note sometimes it is refundable if they do not hold the show keep that in mind so here we go first image is for 31 dollars each additional image is two dollars so if you have enough money to enter a little bit more do that a maximum of 20 images may be submitted submitted for consideration so that's what we like to see here you can enter 20 artworks into this entry and hope to get in so maybe you have all 20 and all 20 get in or if you have one one gets in or maybe you have five that get in as long as you get in that's the important part so there's also a lot more stuff in the rules of this art show check it out but i'm going to skip this and click agree So here we are on the next part of the entry. It has the name of the art show, 2022 Women in Art. Contact email. This is if you have any questions before entering, well, before answering these form questions or anything else that you have, have questions about. Entry fees, $31. Media fees, two per sample over minimum. Entry deadline, June 5th. So here we have some form questions. We have artist statements up first. So make sure it is under a thousand characters. So basically with the artist statement is really about you and what you practice and also what is the subject that you work on the most. So let's say let's say you like Hello Kitty, you do your work about Hello Kitty. You love how Hello Kitty works. You like to you like to paint Hello Kitty in acrylic paint. That's basically the gist of an artist statement. I know that was probably a bad example, anyways, but that's how it goes. Next is please provide an artist website if you have one. If you do not have an artist website, please put NA. So with any of these that ask you for a website, make a website anyways. But, but if you like this video, I'll make one on how to create an artist website. How will it appear for the show? First name and last. Keep in mind, last name is how people will find you on our website. They'll ask you, please type where you learned about this call. Examples, cafe, specific website, web, uh, website, uh, Facebook, a friend, email, etc. So you will just type in cafe, or you can type in my name. I don't, I don't know what that will do for me, but if you type in my name on from the YouTube's, may, maybe like help me out. Maybe they'll say, hey, shout us out on your channel. I mean, I, I don't know here. Then the next one, please provide your Instagram and Facebook information 
if you'd like to tag your images, if you do not have Instagram or Facebook, please simply type in MA. Also, you need to have an Instagram. You don't really have to have a Facebook, but if you like both, make sure you have both somehow. Here is basically telling you what's the dimensions. I don't know why I had the need to give you some info on that. Then the current price of artwork. If there's any changes from your original uploaded price, if no changes, you can skip this question. So this is asking you if you want to sell your work or how much it is. Okay, we're going to put a whole bunch of dots here because I'm actually not going to enter this art show. I want to though, see? I have 110 days, so let's see how that goes. So we're just gonna put dots here. But if you're entering this art show, make sure you actually type things in and not put dots. We're gonna click save. And of course, you're going to see some application errors. But anyways, now we're, we are at choose work samples. So remember what I said before, make sure you put some art photos uh, in, my port in the my portfolio section. So I only have one here and it is a digital gaze. Then let's click save. So in case you want to take a nap or get something to eat, everything is safe. So here they have like a nice list right here asking what type of medium you used. Mine would be, okay here it is, computer art. Sometimes it's digital, but sometimes they do name it computer art, completely missed that. But here it is, then save category. Then when everything is all done, you'll see this page right here. I'm ready to check out and your entry is ready for submission. So then you're at the checkout right here. You have the entry fee that the website uses credit, debit, or PayPal. So use PayPal for, for the safety, you know? Alright friends, that's pretty much it on how to enter an art show. I know you guys will get into any art shows now that you have the tools that I have gave you to enter an art show. Now with that being said, comment down below, like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Consider subscribing if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.